Hello there everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to be going over the Bull Deer mobs in the Tenshura Reincarnated mod for Minecraft. So for the Bull Deers, we're going to go ahead and spawn one in. This is what Bull Deers look like. I think they all have antlers. I don't think I've ever seen one that didn't have antlers, but here are the Bull Deers. So we're going to go ahead and start off with their aggression. Obviously, these guys are going to be passive, but we're going to go ahead and check anyways. So we're going to go ahead and type in game mode survival. And yeah, they are not attacking me, which would make you think that they're neutral. But if I go ahead and hit one, they just run away from you as well. So they don't even fight back, which would make them passive. Next, we're going to go over the bull deer stats. So I'm not sure which one I hit. So whichever one has less health, don't don't pay attention to that one because he should have less health because I just hit him. Oh, that one's dead. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Okay, so that one has 14 health. I think that's the one I hit earlier. So here we go. There's one with 30 health. We'll spawn a new one just to make sure as well. Yep. So we have bull deers here and they have 30 HP, 60 SHP, zero armor, and an EP of around 500. Next, we're going to go over skills. So these creatures don't have any skills for you to be able to obtain. So there are just no skills that you can get off of this creature. Next, we're going to go over the drops on this creature. So we're going to go ahead. We get low quality magic crystals, bull deer beef and monster leather D. So let's go ahead and spawn a couple more. Oh no, it's the, all the cow noises. Oh no. <laughs> See if we get anything extra. Not that I'm seeing. We'll do one more wave just to make sure. Okay, we're going to do a big wave. Oh, one survived. <laughs> I don't know how he did that. He got so lucky. <laughs> well, I mean, not anymore. He's dead now, but... <laughs> okay, so we're going to go here and check. We have low quality magic crystals still, bull deer beef still, and then monster leather D, and same thing for these. So it only drops three different items. Now, I will say these guys basically function as cows. That's why they make the little moo sound. So if we go here and we type in bucket and we get this, you can get milk off of them. So go ahead and right click and we got bull deer milk bucket. Now I don't know how the bull deer milk compares to just like regular cow milk. Not really sure what exactly it does. Nope, it is, I thought it, may, it might give me like a buff or something. This is just on there, don't worry about that. But um. Yeah, I, I think it's just another source of you'd be able to get milk. Next, we're going to go over whether or not they are possessable. So I'm going to go here, exit my body. And we're going to use possession on them. And yes, they can be possessed. Next, we're going to go over if they can be named. So we're going to go ahead and press N. And we can. So his name is, is Bull Deer. How about... Uh, oh my goodness, what names start with B? Brandon. <laughs> Brandon the bull deer. <laughs> so they can be named. Now we're going to go over whether or not they can be tamed. So we're going to use the skill charm and they can be. And we can go ahead and set them to stay, set them to wander or to follow. Now these creatures, they cannot be tamed through any food item, at least not that I was able to see, but I think it's probably because they function more like just base cows. You know, you you can tame the dogs or the wolves in Minecraft, you can tame the cats, but you can't tame like the sheep or the or the cows or the pigs. So I think these guys are more along like the, the cows and stuff. Therefore, I do not believe they can be tamed through any way other than through the use of a skill or by naming. Now we're going to go over whether or not they are writable. So by right clicking on them, it just makes us do commands. Let's see if we can put a monster saddle on them. Nope, no monster saddle. Uh, let's try a regular saddle just to be safe. Nope. So these guys are not writable. 
And as for the breeding of the bull deers, if you just get some wheat, they will follow you around. You can use this to lure them into pens or whatever, but you just give them the wheat and then they will be able to breed and make little baby bull deers. Now, I, I, like, the, <laughs> aw, I like the little baby ones because they don't have the little antlers and stuff, so it just looks like a little baby. Aw. <laughs> like a it's like a camel but it doesn't have the humps i guess that's just the deer part i don't know <laughs> and finally we're gonna be going over where they spawn now these guys they pretty much spawn everywhere so i just by hopping down here i should be able to find some pretty quickly yep there's one right there right over there that's one let's see if i can go find another one I don't think the other mobs attack them though, so I think that usually leaves them alone so that you can find them better. Like you're not going to have the leech lizards, like with that, right there. The Bargast are attacking the sheep and stuff, and they're attacking the pigs, but I do not believe they attack the bull deers because I don't think I've ever seen that happen. I do think the wolves might, the, uh, the, the tempest wolves or the dire wolves, like there's two more right there. But otherwise, yeah, these guys should be pretty easy for you to find, especially since it doesn't seem like the mobs attack them, so they will at least survive. Yep, Leech Lizard just walked right past them. They don't attack the horses either. I don't really know why that is, but they, they just don't. So that is all the info I was able to get on the bull deers. I would say really the only thing you would use these guys for is for a food source. So if you wanted to catch them and then breed them to make a bunch of food sources, or if you wanted to use them for the milk, then you could just do that. Otherwise, there's not really much of a use for these guys. But I hope this info was helpful, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.